Uh, hi again, Marco. Uh, oh. How are you? Uh, Fine. Nice. We uh, better be in you. Paris today, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. <laughs> it is but, what it uh, is. The, the situation is uh, still uh, it is uh, well as, as it is. Uh, but uh, we hope that uh, the next uh, uh, events that we will organize will be uh, will be uh, in uh, well in Paris or in uh, yes. all the city in the world. Yeah. Hopefully Was your it's... your session uh, okay? Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went mute for for a, for a 20 seconds. I think I didn't understand why I muted myself, but yeah, I, they they warned me. Oh, it's mute, it's muted. So, uh, <laughs> that, was... uh, that happens sometimes. Yes. Uh, so uh, well, thanks again for for uh, coming to this uh, to this meeting to to have a, a few few words with you. Uh, yep. And uh, could you uh, present yourself for the those uh, who doesn't yes. know you, of course. Of course. My name is Marco Russo. I work at SQL BI. We produce content about DAX and data modeling for uh, Power BI and analysis services. We are specializing in the tabular engine, which is shared across these uh, products. And we basically do this for a living. So we produce training and we provide consulting. That's amazing. Uh, we we also that uh, we also um, uh, saw that uh, you worked uh, sometimes with Microsoft to 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 modify some stuff uh, on uh, the Power BI desktop. I think uh, it's uh, <laughs> thanks to you that we we have a, a modification on the 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 DAX formula uh, yeah. uh, translation. Yeah. We we in fr in France uh, have the the co colon. Uh, Separator. Mm -hmm. It was a relief to see that uh, we have now uh, in, it, in Italy too. Yes. In it, I mean, uh, even though I stopped using Italian uh, settings many years ago because I usually don't work in Italy, but I know the problem. And also in other countries in Europe, we had the same. So if you go in the United States, in the United States and in many English-speaking countries, there's not an issue. Usually they have a commas. But they, for some strange reason, the very first version of Power BI didn't have this setting, didn't have this, uh, you know, uh, automatic uh, change of the separator based on the operating system settings. And they introduced it in 2016, something like that, because they wanted to be in pair with uh, Excel, because they said, oh, mm. Excel users are used to that. And I said, look, you're not making a fair to many people that try to copy and paste code from web, the web. You know that, right? Because mm. <laughs> today people leave That's a problem. using Google <laughs> and copy and pasting code. So you're not really doing a favor. But yeah, they. So after a few years, they realized that it was a mistake. And so we, yeah, in the Power BI contributor program, we uh, had access to the code and we, you know, donated time writing code to to fix things that otherwise would not have been prioritized enough in Microsoft. Yeah. And so the decision was made to use the default, which is the the international setting using the, the comma as a, as a list separator, but because you don't translate other languages. I mean, I never seen SQL translated this way, so there, there was no reason. But if you want to go back to the previous uh, mode, uh, you can. So you can just, you know, it's no longer the, the the default, but if you you can go back to the to the old habits if you want. But the metrics they had, they told me that most of the people use the the, the current you know the international setting. We we oh, basically so after too. one year yeah. we we simply have seen that the number of people using the other setting is still appearing all, all over okay. the. That's yeah. uh, that's interesting. Uh, we uh, I think uh, I spoke uh, for Mari for for this one, but we we both uh, use uh, the the comma separator because uh, uh, as you as you said uh, uh, at first when I was a young uh, uh, consultant, uh, it was uh, really uh, tricky. To say why everything is in a comma and uh, we uh, use a, a semicolon separator? It was really really annoying. And at um, first, when you begin, you don't even know the reason why. You don't understand. It's uh, really disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. So I thank know. you for that. <laughs> <laughs> for probably yeah, at least. Um, I, I just have a few questions for you. Uh, well, uh, uh, I was just wondering. That's a, a, a lot. Uh, well, you, you do this uh, your activity for a long time, and uh, well, for the last uh, few years now, we we see a lot of uh, 
um, of software as a SaaS, uh, a very uh, uh, user-oriented uh, uh, um, uh, software uh, product. Uh, yep. As your your work change over the, the, the years, uh, do, do you see uh, or, or do you think uh, uh, the underlying subjects are, are still the same uh, uh, on the tunnel? I, Trick the question. question has Sorry. many <laughs> answers. No, no, I'm thinking because uh, w specifically, what do you, in which area you want to, because uh, there are too many, I mean, I could talk two hours for, for with this question. Yeah, so <laughs> if, we, if we restrict the topic to something more specific, so you, 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 you're talking about specifically about services about no, RBI I, I mean, or? Uh, just, um, um, uh, now we have uh, products like Power BI that are used yeah. by a lot of people that are not uh, technical profiles or le uh, most uh, about uh, um, uh, well uh, teams for m marketing, for yeah. uh, finance, uh, less technical one. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if uh, well you 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 are much more involved with these people or do you still work uh, maybe with uh, all the technical teams uh, as your work changed in, in that way at least in the past few years? No, now I understand the, the question better. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question because uh, the kind of, okay, so let's split the, the question in two parts. So for what we do as SQL BI, mm -hmm. The introduction of the Power BI self service and before that Power Pivot enabled us to reach a broader audience. And this basically enabled us to leave doing training in producing content instead of doing consulting and producing content in a in the spare time. Okay. So this was a game changer. Yes. The technical audience would not have allowed that for us because it is not large enough to generate revenues to sustain uh, what we do now today as a business, right? So you can do, for example, if you do C Sharp or Java, the technical audience is large enough to, you know, enable you to do only that if you want, right, in training. Or, but, but for business intelligence, we're talking about a small, as a much smaller audience, right? Now, the moment you extend this audience to people who have a business profile who are not technicals but are can learn something enough to some technical stuff enough to to enable them to do something in the sales service arena, then then this is something that in, enlarge the audience. And so this is what is happening, right? So yeah. At the same time, however, the world is changing because. Uh, this clear separation between a business user and the IT guy, I will see blurring this over and over. I have seen many people going from the user side to the technical side just because they were passionate about the, the, the language or the product or something. And so they learned something that was initially not in their skill set. Yeah. At the same time, you have, you might have seen, I mean, the numbers are smaller, but you might have seen technical people moving to a business role. Usually they do this because they get the management position, but they still have skills. But but the numbers are smaller, of course, because uh, the numbers are, are smaller. So it's a, it's a continuous evolution. From my personal side now, the, the, the problem is that we try to not be, because we are not able to, the place where you start, right? So if you are a business user that is just starting for, with, with, with Power BI, you will not visit SQL BI. Yeah. But once you start using DAX or using something that is not just a table and a chart or you, you don't just consume a model built by someone else, but you start using your data, you probably will start using something that we, that we can help with. So you can start using the editor, you can start using... Uh, some pattern, you can start using our articles. Usually, you, I mean, we have literally, all, uh, our website has a lot of visits, right? And because we have content that is useful to all the people, not just the more technical ones. Mm. Of course, part of the content we produce is only for the IT. I know. But yes, 
part of the content is not. So half and half. I would say we, when you start to go to a more advanced level, then you, you, you are in touch with us. And so, yes, I have been in touch with people who are business users doing that. Um, but I also was used to do that before when I was uh, working on business intelligence projects because usually I was the bridge between the business and the IT people because for uh, many reasons I also have a background that allowed me to talk with a CFO about financial stuff. So for me it's not strange that when I see the numbers, to many people they are just numbers. I I can read the number of a balance sheet, for example, something that many yeah. I, people in IT are not. So, and this, this is a good advantage when you talk with the business community. Yeah, I think we we all uh, we all see that uh, it's a big uh, yeah. a big uh, skills to to have, to have uh, when you when you work with uh, both IT and uh, and the, yeah, the customers. Yeah, yeah. It's important to understand what uh, what we we are doing uh, for the sake of the of the project we are we are talking about. Um, uh, we 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 also uh, try to uh, see if we have uh, some question in the chat. Yeah, so of course. Uh, don't uh, don't hesitate if you have a question for Marco, we will uh, be able to translate it. N'hésitez pas si vous avez une question pour uh, Marco, non, on pourra la, la traduire bien évidemment. Pour l'instant, pas pas encore de, de questions. Uh, uh, just uh, you, you. Um, uh, I have just uh, another question for you. If uh, uh, if we don't have uh, one for for the chat, uh, you you used uh, used to to go uh, and um, uh, to many cities uh, to to do some presentation. Do you have a, a favorite city in the, in the world uh, to? Uh, well, you like to attend uh, some uh, some events. You want to make you're you're making me suffering again because I <laughs> no 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 <laughs> I mean, there, there is I, no trap there is, is there no something trap. i miss is is traveling so yeah so yeah i i think that yeah um it, it's it's really uh strange to be used to travel a lot and all of a sudden being close at home at the same time working with all the time zones but at the same time not having the physical presence and the problem I see with the virtual conferences right like today or many others is that uh, you have uh, no replacement in the virtual world for the hallway conversations uh, for the different weather for the you know the, the, the everything that is around which is what makes you able to socialize with peoples of with different culture and so on so that that that's really a missing part. Uh, and your favorite city? Ah, oh, my favorite city. Oh, okay. So uh, the one that the, the, the one I like more probably is I have if I had to pick one, London probably. Yeah. Uh, even though there are I many cities I like, Paris included, of course. Uh, my, I, I mean, I I will travel to Paris just for the. Um, oh my God! The the name the. Macarons, the macarons. Oh yeah, <laughs> big fan. <laughs> when I go to Paris, uh, I have a you know, I have a mandatory stop at uh, Le Dure, right? <laughs> so, oh, we, I think we well, uh, French people, we also have a tendency to do that because food is very important for us in our culture. So <laughs> we like to when we when we travel, we we like to 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 yeah. well to taste the the, the food uh, there. Uh, yeah, but, when yeah, I go to Italy, uh, I, I do yeah. I do that too. <laughs> I'm not a foodie, but for the desserts and for certain desserts, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a different, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you again, uh, Marco. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I think our, our chat uh, is uh, still pondering uh, why you why you say London. Uh, no, I, I, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> don't, don't worry. <laughs> to be honest, it, it's it's a no. I can give you a rational explanation. Is that it's a city where I could live. I know that is strange, but it's a city that has something that is never stops you to you know wonder is uh, is vibrant is uh, and, and it has a mix between modern and history which is unmatched i mean you go to rome there is everything that is history but it's history i mean yeah 
<laughs> <That's> an, <laughs> you don't you see the, the new things, you don't see the skyscrapers, you don't see the the modern art. So, and, and yeah, Paris is a little bit better. But for example, you have the La Defense is called. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Which is, 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 is isolated from the city. So it's, it's different, right? It's not in the middle of the city. In London, you have this mix where you have uh, this contrast that, that you might like it or not. I know that. And actually, I like it. Uh, and and that is the, the reason. Because otherwise, I would say New York. But New York is doesn't have history, right? The history yeah. is, uh, start from 100 years ago, basically. So <laughs> it's, Yes, it's I, I see story. what you mean. Uh, yes. Well, thank you. Thank you again. If you have uh, any uh, words to to conclude, uh, don't uh, don't hesitate. If you have any uh, actualities, uh, new events that uh, maybe are coming up, uh, don't yeah. hesitate. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, no, I think we we just uh, we just had a um, live that you can just watch recorded about Tabular Editor with the author of Tabular Editor in uh, Dark Studio. Uh, okay. Gospel. We talked about development tools. So if you're interested into this discussion, you can go in the SQL BI YouTube channel and look at the live uh, events. We had one with uh, Darren and and uh, Daniel, who I think is interesting if you spend time with development tools, uh, developing code in DAX or data models is very interesting. Okay. Okay. Well. Thank you again for all the, this, uh, this this information and for your your time. Uh, Thank you well, very looking much. Looking forward to to hear about you again uh, and uh, yeah, have a nice uh, continuation in person next time. Thank you guys. Yes, bye bye. Nice day. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank bye, you bye. Again. Je vais finir l'enregistrement.